the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. I, I hope you're going to take time to listen to our video. I appreciate you taking time to, to stop and see what's going on. And hope you take interest to listen to the entire video. We're going to break them down into segments, uh, A, B, C, and D. Bar, put them out on YouTube. And the topic of the day, I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm telling you about this fact of why we need to study the Word of God and be doers of the Word of God. Because it's it's obvious that some people don't want to be doers of the Word of God. Uh, it's, it's befuddles me sometimes when you think about everybody that say they profess they're Christian, but then they don't do what, don't bear the fruits of a Christian. The fruits of the Spirit find in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And then the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, Long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and such. There's no law. But what we see is some people are actually teaching their children to be, uh, to hate, to hurt, to do bad things, to ignore the teaching of Christ. And we we know the history, all of you do. That's why some people are trying to ban books or try to reindoctrinate people to think a different way, but Reindoctrination doesn't work if you're still teaching a child to steal, kill, and destroy. The script I put up here said, does dehumanizing others mean it is okay with God to steal, kill, and destroy? That's in John 10.10. 10. Does God accept the dehumanizing, first of all, because you got to remember, <laughs> we, Christ, we're not the creation. Right? God created us. No body, whether you are a, a black supremacist or a white supremacist, can make somebody different from what God sees them to be. We're all creation of God. And the Bible said if you receive and confess your mouth the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, as your personal Lord and Savior in your heart, that God's not raised. That God has, excuse me, God has raised him from the dead, that I should be saved. But if you believe not, that's a different story. But I'm talking about if you believe that God raised the dead and you confess your mouth to the Lord Jesus, you're saying is that he's Lord in your life, not you. And if he's Lord in your life, then you should do what he taught. And you know he didn't teach discrimination. He didn't teach to kill people. He didn't teach to destroy people. So he taught to love one another. And if you're doing opposite of those things because you feel it's validated in the eyes of man or you feel that that's worth your eternal death, you know, or the, is it worth giving up your eternal life to have things here in this present world that benefits you and discriminates or go against other people? just cause you to steal, kill, and destroy from other people for your personal benefit, that you're saying is that your personal life outweighs eternal life. That you're willing to give up eternal life. You know, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but an everlasting life. And if you're saying that it's more important for a personal gain, for personal pride, for, like I said, black supremacy or white supremacy, that you believe that those things are more important than eternal life, that you choose to teach yourself, teach your children to go for eternal death. Eternal death means disconnected from God. If you think that's more important, uh, I'd like you to put that on the scale. We talked about a scale of life today. When you put God on the scale, you put Christ on the scale, you put the Holy Spirit on the scale, and then you put your works. You know, everything that you can try to gain for yourself and your children, 
you put those on the scale, it's imbalance. Because one is going to be higher than the other. And when you have a false balance, that's when you can find yourself out of sync with God and in jeopardy for eternal death. Eternal death means separated from God. And that's the choice that you have to make. And I'm recommending choose life. Amen. So uh, I hope, I think you're going to enjoy this segment. I know you will. And all I want you to do is just remember that Yeshua, Jesus, is Lord. And if you love him, keep his commandment. And his commandment is not about steal, kill, and destroy, but the life and have kind of life more abundantly. Amen. All right, like I said, we're gonna break it down. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments if you can. And I see you when I see you. God bless you. Check it later. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye. <laughs> so that you can see where we're coming from. But the main thing is go see where we're coming from, not what we say, not how we feel. And my point is, don't go after vain glory and put eternal life in the equation of them now. So I'm asking, share this with some people. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to you as well though. I said, share the conversation yeah. with other people and see what they think. I guarantee you, brother, they come with the same conclusion. They sit there and just go through some of these scriptures. So that's all we ask. Hey, I appreciate you uh, for the day, brother. Uh, and you beat me in this day. But we talked with, we, I haven't, I, I was tempted last week was to, to do the, uh, like, like, a, it was like a pre show. And said that out, said this is what we talk about. It. But we talk a long time just on the pre. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I wonder if people read it or not, look at it or not. But I may consider doing it. But I put this up, but I'm going to send out the one we talked about last week. Uh, today, and I'll try to edit this one out uh, today as well, but I'm not going to send it out. Amen? Alright, brothers. Have a good one. I'm going to do my little intro. You like my little intros I do? <laughs> I tried to do a little synopsis real quick, and, and then I say, okay, I'm, you know, because uh, it's, it's us trying to make sure that the, the main points we're trying to come up yeah. uh, with it and everything. Did you, any main point you want to bring out today that I should make sure I get? Because I'm, I'm going to bring in the ones I got, but... Dang, the ones you got is, 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 is plenty. It's plenty, ain't it? To chew on anyway, so... It really is. <laughs> hey, God bless you. Don't forget to share. Uh, yes. talk, to, uh, talk to other people about this stuff. And then share the videos, too. So, I mean, y'all check this out. And then it's, it's, it could be used as a good way of talking. Hey, let, check our video out, man. And I, how about I meet you on Tuesday or Wednesday or sometimes we let's talk about it. Okay. I want to hear your you know, because I think you'd be good. You and I would love to hear. We get revelation when people talk about it anyway. Yeah. And they see things that we didn't see, or they're gonna say, Really? Yeah. And they say I didn't and think the, about it. The collective that. is is awesome. <laughs> the, the revelation is is, is is for everyone and each yeah. person uplifts the next. I mean yeah. iron yeah. sharpens iron. Come so, on, bro. Yeah. It, it is it is a great thing you know and man if you're out there i mean even even if you just you know send a message send yeah. send, send a note a question yeah. or, or or how you how you what do you think mm -hmm. you know if even if we're you think we're missing the mark that's we'll take that too we'll take that feedback, feedback too is, is, is important because we feel like some people a lot of people not some people are missing the mark when they can sit there and teach their children to hate, to discriminate, to put greed and profit over the lives of human beings. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. And we, we got to plant the seed. And I, like I said, we're not, you're not, we agree. We don't like abortion. Abortion is wrong. But we talk about the fact is that all the other things that contribute to it and all the lives that be after a birth that are there's, just there's as important. So much, so much that leads up to that. We ain't even put no emphasis on and, that. And, and none of that is, is at, 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 you know, before us. It's yeah. not a question. Yeah. You know, that, that, that <laughs> is a, a, uh, a symptom. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, don't they? Don't, some people don't want to talk about sex education. And you're saying there's okay, if you're not teaching them, who's going to teach them? In most cases, it's hard for parents to talk about it. Um, but here they didn't talk about the reproductive system, 
talk about the consequences of it, talk about sexual transmitted disease, everything else. There's consequences in day in the day, in life now. But there's an eternal consequence that goes along with it as well. And that's all we want to make sure. I think we need to that's I think spiritual means eternal. And I think a lot of people are leaving the eternal peace out because if you can sit there and discriminate against somebody because of the mere color of the skin, whether you're black or white, that means you are you are you are basing and weighing your eternal life over something temporal. And I guarantee you this flesh, his flesh, person as European white or person whatever, all this is temporal because every last one of us will take a dirt nap unless the Lord comes back. And those people who did the bad things in the past, they take them dirt now. And you can sit there, and look, another thing too, you can sit there and ban books, rewrite history, all you want. It does not change what did God see, what did God, what he saw. And when you go before him, he's gonna see what you did. And you're going to tell me, you're going to say, and, and I'm going to ask you now, was it worth it? Because, and we know the answer too, right? It's not. it's not. Amen. Go ahead, brother. I think you have a good weekend. Like I said, I think it's a good conversation. Do it on a golf course if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Come on, bro. I do. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm always asking, you know, uh, are you Christian? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's, that's, I always ask. Yeah, and now the fact is that do you know you're Christian it is in your heart? Yeah. Because you have the head knowledge. So well, I, that's, that's my, my, my open. Are you a Christian? And then as the Spirit leads, we, our conversation goes from there. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Because if you're not, that, that, that's a whole different conversation. You know, it's, it's just, I, I don't know. It's, now we go to Spirit Parables. Out of the TikTok the other day, y'all, is a rabbit trail. It's a very good TikTok, brother. I said. He, uh, they, they, they was talking about man, and when they die, they will go to the gates of heaven and say that you must spend a day in heaven and a day in hell, and then you will choose whether you want to be in heaven. Or you want to be in hell. Now that's a no-brainer, right? Yeah. From 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 that conversation. And then when he went in the day of heaven, he saw the glory of God. He saw the angels singing and all that stuff. And 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 is this is a twist? I actually had a lady ask me this one time, a long long time ago. Said, "Wouldn't that be boring?" You know, and it, they were saying that based on what they think they're supposed to see in heaven. Yeah. They think it's going to be boring, right? Because you ain't get all the drama and all this stuff. So then they went a day in hell. And they saw, it was interesting how they, man, they saw luxury hotels. <laughs> they saw, they saw a golf course. You know, you like golfing. Yeah. There was a golf course out there. Old food was made by the finest shelves, uh, shelves of cookers and stuff. And 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 then they said, uh, then they had to play, they sleep in this king size bed and everything, right? And then they had to go back to the gate. So they had a day in heaven, right? Mm -hmm. And they had a day in hell. And and and, and they, they said this time there's usually people in the part of the joke with politicians. Anyway, they were using the set. And the guy said, I, I, and look, they, they use our prominent pop. They did the politicians that we support as the people that had this option, right? And, and uh, they even used Joe Biden as the last one. <laughs> and he said, I, and he said I, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. <laughs> right? So, so he said, okay, that you, we gave you the right to choose. You, mm -hmm. you had to write you. You saw all that luxury and all that other stuff that you saw. You, you liked the golfing and everything like that. So, okay, you, you made your choice. So you go ahead. You willingly, just like life, when you think about it. This is a good parable when you think about it. You go, go ahead and go, go to hell because you chose to hell, right? But when they got to hell, what do you think they saw? They, they, they ain't see none of that. They ain't see none of that. 
and, 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 they, and they asked and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, where, where's the luxury and the, the food and the, the golf course and all that? He said, yesterday was a, a campaign. They <laughs> voted. <Yeah. laughs> and they were trying to use that thing because of politics, yeah. right? They said, that you, yeah, yesterday was the campaign. <laughs> The day before that, you, you no, the day before that was the campaign. Uh -huh. Yesterday you voted. Today you getting the results of your vote. The vote. <laughs> and that's it. So that they have many layers, even that little parable. Yeah. But it was is the fact is that people are drawn off on the physical cardinal things. Yeah. And and don't recognize that it is torment and and, and hell and, and lake of fire, all that stuff matters and from an eternal perspective you looked at a, a you took a day which is almost like they're talking about life right it's like it's a vapor yeah yeah we we we, we take some of us are making decisions on a dash uh being a short period and you compare eternity with the how long we live isn't that something yeah it, it That's, doesn't matter you know, you could be the oldest living mm. human uh, in this modern world. You know, uh, you can do the 120. Yeah. And it's still. It won't compare. It, it won't compare. And, and matter of fact, the latter end of that is probably going to be suffering. Mm. I mean, you'll, you'll be as a child because you'll need people. You know, most people who live that age, they got to have people caring for them like their child. I know. Isn't that something? That is something. That That's what, that, and that's it. People are thinking, just take that parable in itself and understand we're making the decision to die. But just like Adam and Eve, it was, if we eat this, they knew. If we yeah. touched it, they knew they would die. That's a point. Parables. And you know, I thought that that was a real good parable, uh, that story I was telling. You might want to try that one. That's because that's something you could you could cause a person gonna imagine the, the, the those resorts and stuff like that and, and then they're gonna sit there and you could even talk the streets are paved with gold and the heaven and the and the angels, the people always the queen, angels singing and all that and, and you 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 and look, especially talking to the golf course, they'd be like Say, I ain't seen you. Say, no, no golf course up there. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and they were like, but you say, hell, got the golf course there, wow. And then they said, no, I don't have it. But they'll advertise it for you. Because that's what they're doing today, right? I think that's what they're doing now, right? This is the advertising. This is the campaign. Now, people choose. Yeah. Choose life or death. We recommend choose life. Amen? All right, good bro. Stay blessed. Right. See you Be next blessed. week. All right, bye-bye. All right, then for the other people, Brother Az is still there, but I'm going to go ahead and tell him. <laughs> He's gone now. Uh, this is a great subject, and I really uh, want to go ahead and, and edit this out uh, to, to really get us to to start thinking about putting eternal life in the equation of your decisions. I may I should, I may I should have titled that, but I'm gonna go back with the, uh, maybe I may change the title, but I, it's hard to change the title like talking about, but I, I'm doing my introduction, I'll talk about the importance of e putting eternal life in your equations for your decisions so that you don't steal kill and destroy but you do give love which is what the message is all about amen I'm, god is talking to all of us who wants to hear and he is, is no exception for every time you get into the word of god it's the word of god that stirs us up it's the word of god that makes the difference when we talk about different subjects and and i, I want to share the subject i have for you today let me put it up here. Uh, I'm like, wow. The Lord is not playing. You know what I mean? God is 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 just 
trying to talk to us, communicate with us, reveal to us His Word, uh, and we need to we need to we need to listen and take heed to what He's saying. So the subject I put right here, I'm asking the question is, does dehumanize? Meaning when you want to dehumanize somebody based on the color of their skin, based on their faith, based on their religion, based on where they came from, uh, based on how much they make. If you want to dehumanize a person, does it mean it's okay with God to steal, kill, and destroy because you dehumanize them? That's, that's, that's a valid question, isn't it? Because it's obvious that the, based on history, that some people dehumanize people enough that they do feel it's okay to steal, kill, and destroy. <clears throat> but you're not thinking in the spiritual realm, you're not thinking or putting that decision to steal, kill, and destroy with God in the equation, with Christ in the equation. And I'm talking about the fact is this Christ teaching in any of his teaching, is it in any of Christ's teaching, this concept of steal, kill, and destroy. Where in the gospel, those are professing to be Christ, believers in Christ, where in his teaching it says to, it's okay to steal, kill, and destroy? You know what? There isn't. And that's why it's important for you, just like me, to realize that we need to put in our decision-making process eternal life. Do you want eternal life or are you more comfortable with just this life and willing to accept the consequences that will arise from your actions when you are confronted with eternity? Do you feel that to be superior, whether you're black or white, or any other color, you feel it's okay to kill somebody that's not like you, that don't make the same amount of money as you do, that don't, don't have the same ideology that you have? Do you feel that that gives you the right by dehumanizing them to steal, kill, and destroy. Do you even put eternal life in the equation in your decision making? Do you put God in the equation of your decision? Because history has shown the atrocities of man. Present day politics shows do we really put eternal life in the equation when we make a decision. We talked about it in this, this study today about John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whosoever who believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But the point is, what did we say? What did? What is the main focus and the main end point of John 3, 16? Is eternal life. Does your current life is so important that you will forfeit eternal life. Is it more important for you to, to do personal gain, personal wealth above eternal life? You know, I know one scripture sit there and say, what profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? There's people teaching their children to go to hell, to have eternal death to be separated from God. And yet still try to sit there and say, we want you to go to church. We want you to, to, to hear the word of God, but we don't want you to practice the word of God. 
We want you to practice hate. We want you to practice death and killing of other people because they don't look like you or they don't think like you. They don't have the same political group. You want to go after a liberal. You want to go after a Democrat. You want to go after a Republican. You want to go after somebody that's conservative. You, you feel that if I can dehumanize these people, I can do bad things. Well, does that guarantee eternal life? And the answer is no. So the point is, is it worth doing things that's going to jeopardize your eternal life? Some of you sit there and say, well, I, I'm a believer. Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. Is he Lord, then you do what he told you to do. And if he's Lord, then you will not discriminate. You will not kill. You will not steal. You will not destroy. You will love because he left a commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. 35 said, men will know that you're my disciple for the love that you have for one another. And he, and so you sit there and do things to people because they're different from you. You should then seek personal gain because they're different from you. You seeking to sit there and let things, even your own life and your own world be destroyed. You all take away from benefits that bless you. And you say that's more important than you're not also equating eternal life in your decision making. So, hey, everybody, God bless you. I, I hope that you enjoyed the session that you just listened to. And I hope you get to look at all, listen to all the sessions for this segment that we did, or this study session, or the discussion that we did today. Uh, we did this on the, I think it's, 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 it's the August, I think it was the, I think it's the 13th of August that this session was done. Uh, and like I said, all the sessions you will see throughout the week. And, and I just want you to remember, and here's the topic we did today. Let me go ahead and put that up. You can see what we, I, I know you saw it at the beginning of the session, and I just want to make sure you got it here, wrap it up on the closing of the session. It says, does the human eyes of others mean it's okay with God to steal, kill, and destroy? Following John 10, 10. <laughs> and I hope that you got the answer, which is no. It's, it's not okay with God to steal, kill, destroy. It's not okay with God to discriminate against other people, your fellow man. It's not okay. It's not okay to, to try to get as much as you can for your life, as much as you can for your family or your friends, and think it's okay with God that you do these things at the, at the uh, detrimental of somebody else's life that you dehumanize other people so you can go ahead and, and, and do the atrocities of history or do the atrocities of the faith or to sit there and, 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 and ignore truth and accept the lie or conspire to do something that you know will only give somebody else who's trying to do bad things a way out. You are believers and you need to show people who you are as a believer so that you can make a difference in their life. We come, we are called to preach the gospel. And the equation of the gospel is eternal life. And therefore we want us to remind ourselves and remind those we come in contact with that it's about eternal life. It doesn't matter whether some people have not faith in eternal life, it matters to us because we're believers. And as believers, we believe in eternal life. We make the confession that Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. We want to bear the fruits of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, because such there's no law. We want to have eternal life just as in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but an everlasting life. We want you to understand that vain glory does not equal eternal life. We want you to understand that a false balance does not equal eternal life. We want you, and like I said, put in a scale, right? If you put it on a scale, you sit there and say that if God is not in the equation and the Holy Spirit, and eternal life is not in the equation of decision, 
then the scale is not balanced. And if it's not balanced, it equals eternal death. But if you put God in the equation of decision, you put eternal life in the equation of decision, so that what you do does and focus on eternal life, it makes a difference. But not to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what we talked about today. And I hope you enjoy the session, and I hope you come back and do listen to all the sessions and continue to deal with this platform, support this platform, don't get to subscribe, uh, and leave comments if you can. And remember, Yeshua is, is Lord, amen? So, no vain glory, focus on truth, focus on light, focus on eternal light. Don't let that be in jeopardy because of personal gain. Because all those who died before you, judgment has come to them. Don't let judgment come to you because you already made the right choice and your behavior lines up with that choice. But if your behavior don't line up with the choice, then you, you're right. You have eternal death <laughs> and there's a lake of fire waiting for you and that's what your choice and we give you that free choice. Or oh, I, I don't give it to you. God gives it to you. I just hope you choose life. Amen. God bless you. I see you when I see you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. God bless. Bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.